The Wraith are stupid freaking morons. I don't care who you are, whether or not you're a fan of space vampires, but they are just freaking idiots. Here are seven reasons why right after this. Hey everybody, I am Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. Today is another They're Stupid Freaking Idiots episode, and we're talking about the space vampires, the Wraith. Not in, not in any particular order, but number one reason why they're stupid freaking idiots, you don't regulate your food supply. Okay, so if you're the main, really the only thing that you really eat is humans, wouldn't you want to make sure that there's a constant population of humans that could meet the demand of the food? Human beings figured this out 10,000 years ago. We figured out, hey, food that we like to eat, we want it to come back and we want to get even more of it. So instead of eating all of it, how about we keep some around for it to repopulate and grow even more so that next year we have even more food? Oh my God, this is such a revolutionary thing. You don't slaughter all the cows that you're gonna eat. You let a good chunk of them live to produce other cows and then you eat those cows later on and you get more cows. So a population of 20 cows turns into a population of 200 rather than a population of 20 cows turns down to a population of 10 and then you wait around for another couple thousand years for the population to come back to 20 so that you can eat them. I mean, the numbers are right, but you get my point. Am I promoting human enslavement and breeding camps and, and farming? Yes, I am. If you're the wraith and that is your food source, it makes sense. Hell, it worked in the matrix. Reason number two, you don't learn from your mistakes. Yes, you won a gigantic war with the ancients 10,000 years ago, whoop de freaking do At the end of that, the city of Atlantis sunk down to the bottom of the ocean and it stopped giving resistance, so you stopped trying to blow it up, right? Well, fast forward 10,000 years, Atlantis is reoccupied. They keep causing you trouble. You come back to try to destroy them. And what do they do? They cloak the city and pretend like they're dead and they play possum and you buy it again? You are the same people that were around the first time. You should remember in your memory, oh, hey, that city that we thought was destroyed but wasn't, that's because they sunk down to the city and they played possum. Maybe we should stick around for a couple of days to make sure they're really dead. Really? You fall for the whole submarine thing where they blast out a bunch of debris out of the torpedo tubes that rises to the surface and you think, great, they exploded. And you don't hang around at all? Like, just stop being idiots. And reason number three, while well, you're freaking idiots. So after you failed at number two, and you thought Atlantis was destroyed and you didn't follow up on it to make sure it was, once you do start seeing signs of the Atlantis expedition that they are still alive and that they're being really annoying, and in fact, you capture some of them, you still like, don't go back to the planet where the place that Atlantis was and try to make sure that Atlantis is still dead. I know this is like 2B, but still it's ridiculous. You have all of this evidence that these people are still around and they're still kicking and they're still being a pain in your butt. And instead of going back to the point of origin uh, from whence they came and making sure that their home base is destroyed, you just do nothing and you just fly around in your ships and go ah, and try to suck the soul and life force out of people. Like if you want to kill a disease, you go to where the disease is and you make sure that you cut it all out. It's kind of medical science 101. They even knew this back 2,000 years ago, okay? But yet you do not do this. You do not implement this into your basic strategy of your civilization. Good thinking. I want you as my doctor. Reason number four, you don't use your telepathy to your own advantage after like episode five? One of the first things that we learn about the Wraith is that they have very awesome telepathic abilities. And that, well, that they're able to like screw around with their minds of their prey, i.e. humans, by making humans feel and see things that aren't really there. So they're able to give a little distraction, so we look left, and instead the space vampires sneak up from us from the right. Wait, you're a camera, so this is left and this is right. You get my point. After episode five, they stop doing that. But if you're coming across these people again and again and again, and you don't use that ability, you're what's called an idiot, a moron, a Ron that is a more. 
okay? You get what I'm trying to say here? You have all these different things to your ability to try to kill the people that are being the number one pain in your butt, but you don't use it. And it's such a basic thing. I know, I know you, haven't, you don't know what the rays are and you haven't seen Stargate like this, but it's just kind of making sense to you. Okay, yeah. I'm, I haven't been listening, honey. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <clears throat> I'll listen now. No, you don't have to. It's fine. Okay. You can. Reminiscing. You can do your thing. Number five, not improving your technology over ten thousand freaking years. I get it. You are ruling the Pegasus Galaxy. You have all the technology that you need in order to prey upon your enemies, literally, and to eat and clothe yourself and all that kind of thing. But in 10,000 years, you take no steps whatsoever to improve your technology. That's just dumb. I understand that you don't have a big threat that's trying to kill you and you know, during war, you know, technology really seems to really increase. At least that's been our experience here on Earth. But still, over 10,000 years, nobody thinks, hey, here's an idea. Our engines have to take a break after so much time, which really causes us to uh, not get to where we're going as fast as we would like to and puts us at a disadvantage with other hives. What if we increase the efficiency of our engines so we don't have to take a break? That way we can expand our territory, we can beat out the other hives and because their engines do need to take a break, and we can go wherever we want a hell of a lot quicker. No one thinks of that in 10,000 years because they're idiots. I-D-I-O-T-I-E-S-E-M-O-R-O-N, idiots. Number six, not scouting out for ancient tech during 10,000 years. In the past 10,000 years, or during the Wraith existence, basically after they defeated all the Ancients, they had free reign of the Pegasus Galaxy. During this time, they all promptly took a nap. That's it. They woke up 10,000 years later, where they left off. That's so freaking stupid. You just got done fighting a war with a very advanced civilization, a civilization whose technology is even above your own. You managed to defeat them, but yet, you do nothing to search out the rest of the galaxy and find all of the crap that they had to leave behind after you kick their butt and push them out. When you push out an opposing force out of an area, sometimes they are forced to leave behind equipment. This is what is also known as the spoils of war. Now, during this time, they could have, I don't know, helped to deconstruct the, this more advanced technology and incorporate it into their own, but instead they didn't do jack. They perfectly knew of a giant weapon satellite that could take out a hive ship and instead of trying to use that technology to their advantage and rip it apart, they instead do nothing and they forget it. And they're like, oh, hey, giant weapon killing satellite that could help us, you know, expand our feeding area and destroy other Wraith hive ships because we're weirdly territorial like that. Nah, we'll leave it. Whatever. Yes, you found one ancient warship and you had one person in that ancient warship trying to find out what their secret message was. But that's it? Over 10,000 freaking years? That is so freaking stupid. Number seven, not killing the replicators when you had a freaking chance. So these replicators are freaking machines built by the ancients at the subatomic level that create themselves to look like ancient slash human beings and to destroy the wraith. The wraith go into the code, which is binary for some reason, and they reprogram the replicators so that they stop killing the wraith. This is a very good start. However, these killing machines are literal killing machines are still out there in the galaxy hanging out on a planet and they are programmed to not kill Wraith, but they still have the ability. So even though you just got done with the ancients and you have a 10,000 year gap, you think that at some point you would wipe out this possible threat because these are literally death machine terminators that are programmed to kill you. But instead of just taking a whole bunch of highs right after that and just bombarding the crap out of the planet and just be like, okay, done. You do jack diddly doo -dah. Literally, you suck the life out of a jack 
some dude named Diddly and some person named Duda. Why those people are named that in the Pegasus Galaxy, I have no clue. But still, the point is valid, people. Clean up after your mess. Let me know some additional reasons why the Wraith are idiots in the comment section down below. Thanks to um, the patrons who make this video possible. Here are some wonderful names of theirs. And if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Great videos are coming out every week where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side.